strips. We had a cut, which we cut over here, you know. And they're nice. Look, cushy, 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 cushy. <laughs> Later. You guys, something I did with the 650 here. So I was having trouble with some numbness in my hands when I was riding the bike. And I just blew it off for the fact of, you know, I've had back issues since having the two kids and, and a car accident. So I just blew off that it was just, you know, that's what was causing it, my back. So when I got on the H2 one day when we rode to the bay and, you know, we, we had been down at the bay for a while so the numbness in my hands had gone away, I noticed on the 50 mile ride home that my hands did not get numb, that it was very comfortable. But then hubby noticed riding my bike home that his hand started to get numb so i went on to a forum that i i belong to where it's a lot of lim women riders and there were a couple women talking about that and this you know their hands getting a little numb and stuff and they started talking about these um, anti-vibration grips that go over your original grip so you don't have to change your grips and spend a lot of money. Yeah, they're kind of foam slipovers. Yeah, so I looked it up and I found them on eBay and you know, I'll insert a picture of it right here. They're called Grip Puppies and these are made for sport bikes. They're not made for Harleys. If you read in the comments, most Harley riders try putting them on and they split. They do describe, you know, the size that it's to fit. So it's like 20 bucks. I think it's less than 20. So I said, why not? We'll try it. So it's real easy to install. You just take some soapy water, real soapy water, put it on your grips and then put it on the inside of the, the inserts. Put them over the grips, real easy. Oh, and just another tip. You have to probably cut them. We did have to cut ours to fit. So if you see right here, you want to take and line them up and look where they need to be cut. So as you can see here, this does need to be cut. It comes out too far onto the bar end, which we don't want. So we want it back a little bit. So once you get it lined up, now you can either get a tape measure and measure if you want how far, or another little trick is you take masking tape and you line up where you want to cut like that and you keep going all the way around with the masking tape evenly and then when you cut you have a nice edge to cut along so once you got them cut and you got them all soaked up you put them on it's real easy and i have to tell you after taking what was it a 120 mile ride yep. no pain no numbness no anything it yeah. stopped it this 50 doesn't vibrate per se like a Harley, but it, there is a slight buzz. I didn't even notice the buzz, but there is a slight buzz and it, it's uh, it's enough to numb your, your hand after a while. There's yeah, just well, enough buzz to numb your hand for, you know, over a hundred mile ride or so. And the thing about it too is not only did it, you know, stop that little buzz, from getting through, but it also made the grips a little bit more comfortable, which was nice. I mean, they are comfortable now. Yeah. Besides the, 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 you know, stopping the numbness, they're comfortable. So if you kind of like are short on cash, but you want to change your grips for either comfort or because of the buzz coming through on your grips, check these out. I'll put a link down in the description for them. And, you know, hey, less than 20 bucks, you can't beat it. Try them out and you might see a difference like I have. And now I enjoy, I mean, it's not that I didn't enjoy riding the bike. It's just that I would be in pain that all I want to do is get home and get off the bike. Now, and, and since putting this on, 
the other time we were out and I was on this bike, I'm like, where are you? Are you want to go somewhere else? And he's like, I want to go home. It's like, I don't want to go home. Now I don't want to go home. It's like, now I want to ride because I'm not in pain. So, yeah, check that out, guys. You know, if you're having that issue, and it seems that they fit all sport bikes. Well, I, <clears throat> anyway, I put a set on this as well. Yeah, but I don't think they did anything for that. Well, I don't know whether they did anything or not. The school's still out on, because there's no real buzz in the, in the bars on this. There is a slight, but I, for my hands, uh, the grips are a little, the diameter's a little small for my hands. That's just me. But Yeah. Ready, and when ready? you first put ready, them on, ready, 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 yeah. ready, ready, get, 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 just leave them alone. By the next day, when you go to ride them, they'll be fine. Yeah, I don't know if you can see them. I'm trying to get the camera to see them, but if not, I'll show you when we stop. But it's and, and it's a cheap. Why, why don't you just do a video on it? Why don't you just yeah, you know <laughs> and show people instead of talking about something they can't see. Well, I, it, this is the yeah, video it, on it. Oh, hold on, hold on. See, this is the video on them. Until next time, guys. You say it, babe. Ride safe. See ya.